Welcome to my Christmas home tour 2021. I hope you guys enjoy. I will be sharing a lot of my inside home decor throughout the entire house. My outside decor I will be sharing on Vlogmas this year, which is vlogging every day until Christmas, so be sure to come back for that. But this is when you first enter the house. Can you spot Holly? And you can see everything when you first walk in. I love the tree being the focal point here. We do have two King of Christmas um, trees this year, one in our living room and one in the master that I'll share later. And right here in our front entry, we have two plants that I love that placement. We just moved them over there and I really do love that. And we have a wreath and then also a fake mistletoe hanging from the light right when you enter. And then also to the side of my front entry, we have a little bench. So I have a merry and bright pillow that I've gotten at Target dollar spot years prior. And now I'm gonna take you all the way to the back corner of our dining room area and kitchen. So predominantly, I did go with a country farmhouse look with traditional red and green colors, but I do have little pops of blue here and there. And I did also incorporate some bling, kind of snowy feel details to the dining room area. You'll see like this, these little snowflake um, napkin holders. And these plates are actually Debbie Mum, and they were my grandma's, and they've been passed down to me. And so I really, they're really special to me. They have a lot of memory behind them, so I always love to use them on Christmas. And as I show you the dining room table, you'll notice that some of the napkin rings look like this. I actually put these together myself with a little twine and it has like a wire in it so it just holds really well and I just put a little cherry pick in there. I just wanted to use what I had this year so that's why I kind of mix and match things in the dining room and it did end up working out I think really nicely. I used some of my glass ornate trees on the dining room table and incorporated some of my candlesticks. And you'll also see I did the napkins a little different here. Um, some are underneath the plates and some are with napkin rings. I You might remember these open lanterns that I used in my fall decor and Halloween decor on the kitchen counters. I've now repurposed them on the dining room and I used wreaths I had previously but I did add a few poinsettia little clips there to make it extra festive and have a pop of color and those poinsettia clips were purchased at the Dollar Tree. And then back here on our buffet table I have a lot of our ornate um, glass trees. Some of these light up and are actually pretty magnificent when they do and they have different settings and this runner oh my goodness my mom found this for me it is so soft and it really does look like snow when you have everything on top of it and I am even able to hide these wires by kind of pushing them into the fur so it, it works out I can't wait to show you how they light up at the very end of this video So it is no secret that Chris and I are not a huge fan of this light in our dining room. It came with the home. It's a little more modern than our taste. So of course I had to add a little more festive details to that. So I put some of those um, candle rings around there. And then this is our kitchen tree. It has a gingerbread theme. Um, there's also a lot of candy and peppermints, sticks and candy canes. All fun little treats that you would have in your kitchen around ho the holidays. Um, so enjoy taking a look at all the fun ornaments I've collected over the years. If you are not new to my channel, then you know about my Christmas mug tree that I love to put together. And this year I made her extra fluffy and full. She is just brimming with branches, I feel like, and I love how fluffy she is this year. I essentially did a very similar look with the bulbs hanging off the mugs and the berries added in, but I just made it extra full so she could be nice and fluffy. And I've got the star on the top to top her off, too. Now we are going to transition into the kitchen. This year I decided to use some really cute smaller wreaths with just some simple ribbon I had from last year. I didn't want to do every cabinet because I felt it overwhelmed the kitchen. 
um, but I do like the added detail in the background, especially when you have this gigantic, amazing gingerbread house as a focal point and these trees. These are both from QVC. I will make sure to link them for you. They're from Valerie Parr Hill. It does light up, and I just love all the details to it. Every little piece of this has a, a piece of detail that looks like gingerbread. And then I have the little guys um, that adorn the front of the gingerbread house to go with it, of course. I just wanted to make it look like a little mini village. Keeping with the gingerbread theme, we have this shelf back in the kitchen. Lots of fun little gingerbread details and peppermint sticks, marshmallows, things that you would see around a gingerbread house. And I did also put some jingle bells in the inside of the shelf to just have a little bit of a filler and still more Christmas feel. And lots of cute gingerbread men. And you will see some Ray Dunn incorporated throughout my decor as well. I have also a cookie jar on the very end here from Home Goods that I, I got years past, but I have seen it recently again. The free gingerbread kisses sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then as we move over, over here on the other side of the kitchen, I do have a few more gingerbread details, but you'll see I have a thing for nutcrackers too. So nutcracker details will be sprinkled here and there. Just like here in the kitchen, I have a spoon rest that's a nutcracker. If you watched my Target Dollar Spot haul, you'll notice this little shelf that I purchased there. It's a sled, but I just thought it was so cute in the kitchen with some sprinkles and the salt and pepper shaker and my little mini cappuccino Santa mugs. And I just have one of my Ray Dunn um, casserole dishes laying out because I just love the pop of color. A few more details on our canisters. Those were all from the Dollar Spot little ornaments. Bessie the cow gets a little upgrade to her bell. She has a wreath on her. And then this wine is my absolute favorite. I have it out just so I could display that cute little gnome topper. That gnome topper is from Pottery Barn, by the way. And then we have some cute hand towels. I always have something festive on the oven. Those kind of transition out as I use them. And then over here in our coffee station, I wanted to keep it the gingerbread theme. I love the gingerbread looking nutcracker and the Santa plate with the fake gingerbread man. And then we have some Santa themed mugs here on our Keurig and Espresso. And then on the little tiered stand here, I have a gingerbread guy that was from Hobby Lobby and then some toothpicks and seasonings that we use on our coffee like cinnamon and nutmeg. You know how much I love a good tiered tray, and this one you can see from either side, so I wanted to make sure it was really cute on both sides. And there's all little details of Santa's workshop, but gingerbread themed at the same time still, so you'll see some Santa details and some cookie, like gingerbread cookie themed details there. And then that Santa plate is so cute, I had to leave it out, but of course, once I make some yummy Christmas sweets, they'll be displayed on that um, cake stand right next to the tiered tray. did want to bring your attention to the ladder in the background. You'll see our stockings are hung on that with a cute little sign. But over here on the back of our sofas, I have the Grinch and Max in a sled. I love him to pieces. I just got him this year. And of course our sofa table is all decorated, which I will show you in a moment. But look who's in my red truck this year. I decorated the tree with a few bows and that angel was my grandma's. Moving over to the sofa table, I have lots of fun details here, jingle bells and twinkle lights. The garland has more of a rustic like woodland theme. Um, I had used that garland last year on our dining table, but I really love it here. 
We have some metal trees and my Christmas town sign. The metal sleigh that you see the Grinch in used to be my mom's and when she downsized she gave it to us and I wanted to do something special with it and when I purchased this Grinch from a local boutique here in Arizona I knew I had to do something like this. I put presents in the bag and I found Max at Hobby Lobby and it was perfect so I just stacked those all up like the Grinch is going off with the presents. <laughs> This year I wanted the hutch to have more of an antique, old school vibe. I love the mugs. The mugs were my inspiration this year and I kind of grouped things and stack things to give more interest and I still incorporated a few of my Ray Dunn mugs and um, canisters. I love those little gingerbread house wood houses. They were from the Target Dollar Spot a year or so ago. And I just have a couple of the bottle brush trees scattered around as well to give some more color and texture. The garland on top of my hutch did not come the way it looks. I added those berries and the pine cones and the twinkle lights and it looks so magical at night when it's all lit up. I'll make sure to share that with you guys at the end. And over here transitioning into our great room, I call it more so than the living room. But we have our sofa here with some added decorative pillows and some throws to add some um, extra color into the room. On our coffee table, I also added a runner to have more pops of red. The wreaths are actually um, underneath the candle holders. I added cherries to those, and they're similar wreaths to what I have hanging in the kitchen. And then these candle holders I got a while back at Bath & Body Works. Right before you get into the master bedroom, we have my little village set up over here. The sign, The Good Tidings of Comfort and Joy, is from Kirkland Home. I got that last year. And the little village setup is slightly different than I've done before. I staggered them a bit. I did um, put more wreaths on the houses, and I actually put lights on my windmill back in the back there. I wanted it to look like a little farm set up for Christmas, and I love the little red truck. And you will see that all illuminated later. Here on our art pieces next to the entertainment center, I did hang a few wreaths. The shelves in the entertainment center, I have our nativity scene, and I've actually since rearranged how that looks. I'll show you on Vlogmas. And then I have two little ornament. They almost look like snow globes. You'll see when I illuminate them later. They're from Valerie Parr Hill. And then at the very top of the entertainment center, we have this really beautiful big garland that has bulbs, and it's pre-lit and has beautiful poinsettias as well, and you'll see that later too. And as we pass over to the other side here, I have this cute little figurine that's Rudolph. He lights up with some felt trees. Another one of those, um, I call them snow globes, but I don't think they're really called that. And then this cute little family of snowmen. For our main tree this year, I did a Nutcracker Ballet theme. I've saved Nutcracker ornaments from over the years going to the Nutcracker Ballet, and I had a lot of ballerina ornaments because I used to be a ballerina as a young girl, and I've always loved the ballet, so I decided to do that theme for this tree. I also have two different types of ribbon. You'll see a Nutcracker ribbon there, and then the checked ribbon that I've used previous in another tree. Um, I did the ribbon going down instead of around and I actually really love the effect. It gives a lot more fullness. 
and you'll see I'm just showcasing some of the many ornaments I've collected from over the years. And actually that really small nutcracker is Gavin's when he went to the Nutcracker Ballet with us. See, there are a lot of snowflake details on the tree as well, and that's because the waltz of the snowflakes is my favorite part from the Nutcracker, so I thought that would be an appropriate touch to the tree. Moving over onto the other side of the kitchen, we have our Christmas countdown awaiting to be used. And then over on the side of our laundry room, I have one of the Bath & Body Works plugins. I love that it illuminates on the wall and says Merry Christmas, and it just looks like Santa's workshop. And then over here into our laundry room, I have Santa's clothes hung up with care. As you can see, I was doing laundry myself, so I thought it helped Santa out. So I just love this laundry. It's so cute. I especially love that there's boxers. I don't know why that's so funny to me. And then in the bathroom that we have on the side of the home, it's just a half bath for our guests. We have a little tree on the top here. I didn't want to put too much on the back there. I promise you, you can sit down and nothing pokes you in the back. I know that that was a concern for me when I put that tree there, but it looks really cute. And then we have a snowman with our foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. The other side of the house next to our master bedroom we have this larger lantern that I put some fake candles and they are set with a battery and like a timer so it's really pretty at nighttime. And then I added these twigs and the ribbon. I put that together myself. The two sprigs were from Hobby Lobby and the ribbon was from Michaels. And then moving into our master bedroom. I love how Christmassy it is in our room this year. Um, it's so nice to like, get in bed and have the tree on. It's so festive. This bedding is from Pottery Barn and it was a gift by my mom. She's so sweet. It's a Christmas gift so um, we get to use it all month which I love. And we also have the um, throw that's on there that's from Target. We got the little cute snowman pillow. How adorable is that? And then you might recognize that garland that's on the back of our bedroom because we used that on our banister last year when we had the other home. And these trees are so neat. So I actually stuck them on top of my regular candlesticks that I've had from Home Goods for a while because they were hollow and just kind of elevated them a bit and I think made them look even better. And then I have my little Target snow globe that I made. So since the bedding was red and white, I was really inspired by that. So I went with that theme for our master bedroom tree. You'll see I have the wood garland beads that I love so much. I think they're just so country and cute. And I love the berries sticking out from the tree and the little elf shoes. I just think it's so much fun. Um, and we're going to have this beautiful red and white backdrop to our family ornaments because we will add our own family ornaments to this tree too. And then I do have the red collar on the bottom of the tree. I did purchase that at Michael's last year and I used it on our kitchen tree last year but I think it looks really nice on this tree. You'll see I also have some silver and white ornaments like bulbs on this tree to match the trees that are next to our TV. And then over in our master bathroom, we have this little cabinet that I decorated with some items from my Deco Created Winter Box. If you saw that video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And just our pictures that are always there. I was so excited to decorate our new antique piano this year. She needs a lot of love, but I figured I was gonna decorate her and make her look all spruced up for the season. So I've got some garland on here, and some candles I've had around, some of our favorite photos. That angel represents, again, um, the family that we have lost over the years and are watching over us. And then 
as you can see this piano needs a lot of love but I can't wait to give it love because I can't wait to play it and then moving over into the guest room slash when where the kids stay when they stay over um, I actually have two variations of this room so first I went with this more neutral backdrop with just touches of red here and there had more of a cabin um, theme to it with those pillows and that sign and I did really love it but then my mom found a quilt in her garage that she hadn't used and wasn't going to use and asked if I'd like to use it and I couldn't resist and I absolutely love it I think it brings a really nice pop of color into the room and gives it an even more cozy feel please let me know down below though what your favorite uh, room um, is if you rather the neutral or the pop of red And in the middle of the guest room and my beauty room is this Jack and Jill bathroom. It does get used pretty often so I didn't want to overwhelm it. I just put a few um, branches there and just added a few little extra details to go with that cabin theme. I do even have a shower curtain I changed out and some towels. Moving into the beauty room, obviously it's going to be extra girly and blingy because that's just what I love and lots of pink. So my tree is the most girly thing ever and I love it so much. I've got pink glittery bows, blinged out bows and pink ornaments and rose gold ornaments and makeup ornaments. Anything you can think of that's girly is on that tree. I love it. And then I do also have that nutcracker cookie jar. Um, I put him inside my room because I just thought he matched so well that he just deserved to be there. And I always have these cute little boxes that I keep over the years just to put under my tree. There's no presents in them. And over here on my coffee station, I changed out the mug that I have on my little Keurig to the Nutcracker mug. And then I also have the cute garland that has lots of glitter, silver glitter and pine cones. And I've had those snowflake um, stocking holders for a very long time now. And I love this fake little cake thingy. I don't even know what to call it, but I got it at Home Goods last year. And then that Santa mugs from Hobby Lobby. And just lots of fun little bling details. Of course, a nutcracker or two or three or four or five. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching the Christmas home tour. I hope that it was everything you were hoping it was. Of course, it was a little bit different because we had a new home this year. But hopefully this will be our forever home and you will see it as it continues to change and grow over the years. And now just sit back and enjoy the house all lit up.